Wala na. Hmm, ano na naman yung ginawa mo? Hello? You know? Magandang oh. hapon sa inyong lahat. Yes, good afternoon, attorney. Ayan. Good afternoon, Ayan, na, good afternoon. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Ah. Oh. Yun, so marami tayong ano, marami tayong audience. So as usual, we do our uh, regular uh, commentary on the press sec- uh, press uh, briefing that happens in Malacañang right after the event and uh medyo exciting tong nangyari ngayon. <laughs> Turn eh. Uh, bigyan mo nga ng intro. Oh, napakaganda. Mm. Eh, itong uh, nangyari ngayon ay uh, press briefing on uh, specifically on uh, what happened uh, yesterday or last night na hmm, nalaman ng uh, ating presidente na meron palang uh, order, uh, authorization to import uh, 300 ba yan? 300 metric tons? 300 metric of tons? Sugar. That's hmm. 300,000 kilos. Hmm. Okay. Eh, malaki-laking pera yan na gagastusin ng uh, ating bansa out of our budget para bayaran yung uh, importation na yan ng uh, bigas, ay bigas, ng uh, asukal. Sugar, o. Oh. Asukal. Mm. Mm-hmm. Eh, napag-alaman na hindi naman pala authorized yung ano, yung, uh, mm. im- yung, yung uh, importation na yun. Hindi authorized ng presidente sa pagkat ng presidente ang chairman noong uh, Sugar Regulatory uh, Agency o board na na siyang mag-authorize noon eh hindi pala dumat, dumalo doon ng presidente dahil hindi niya alam na may meeting. Pero ang uh, meeting na yon ay nagadulot ng isang resolution na nag-authorize na mag-import nga ng uh, sugar. So ngayon mm-hmm. ang tanong eh sino ang pumirma? At kung uh, mm-hmm. kung uh, sino man yung pumirma na yan eh valid ba yung kanyang pirma and therefore legal ba yung uh, resolution? to authorize the import of sugar. Malalaman mm-hmm. natin dito sa press briefing ng ating uh, press secretary. Let's yep. Bruce Angeles. I-play na ba natin yan? Simulan na natin. Okay, ito ay uh, ano to ah. Uh, um, uh, fast play to, fast play. Uh, matindi tong press briefing na to. Hindi ito nagma... Uh, ano. Wala tong uh, pakeme-keme. Hmm, I-play lang to siya. Magandang umaga. Yesterday, a resolution was uploaded on the website of the Sugar Regulatory Administration, purportedly coming from the Sugar Regulatory Board. Resolution number four authorized the importation of 300,000 metric tons of sugar on top of what had already been imported in May of this year. This resolution is illegal. The chairman of the Sugar Regulatory Board is President Ferdinand Marcos, Jr., As such chairman, he sets the date of any meetings or convening of the Sugar Regulatory Board and its agenda. No such meeting was authorized by the president, nor such a resolution, likewise, was not authorized. It appears that the resolution was signed for and on behalf of the president by Undersecretary Leocardio Sebastian. He was not authorized to sign such a resolution because the president did not authorize the importation. Importations are a sensitive matter, particularly with regard to agricultural importations. Sugar is one such importation which we take great care with. It is a balancing act. The importation has to be carefully studied to protect both the consumer against the rising prices of basic commodities while ensuring at the same time that we do not destroy the local industry. As such, the only response to the, by, to the query on whether or not an importation was to be made, the president answered, the president uh, did not assent and it was the executive secretary who issued the order to create an importation plan. It was therefore clear that there is no authorization for the importation of these 300,000 metric tons. An investigation is ongoing to determine 
whether any acts that would cause the President to lose trust and confidence in his officials can be found, or if there is malice or negligence involved. In such a case, if such findings are made, then the only determination left will be how many heads are going to roll. We'll take your questions with the understanding that this, since this is an ongoing investigation, then we, will be, we can only limit our answers to those that will not affect the fairness of such an investigation. First question, Zinki Batikados, IBC. Hi, yes, ma'am. Ma Good morning, po. Ma'am, um, since the President has now thumbed uh, down this particular proposal of importation of sugar, in the event that there is an insufficient um, supply of sugar in the country, what will the administration do, po? The Department of Agriculture has indicated the critical, uh, allegedly critical levels of sugar. However, we are also approaching harvest season. This is why the importation calls for a balancing act. Will such importation affect the harvest and the prices of our local growers? In the absence of such a determination, then we cannot issue a resolution. The resolution should not have been issued with such haste as it appears to have been made. Oh, Attorney, uh, no, 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 no reaction to the unang, uh, unang issue about uh, the, uh, okay. the question whether we have a shortage right now okay uh, uh itong munang uh, let's set parameters no sa uh, reaction na video na to we are not uh, reacting or saying stuff or commenting on the truth of uh what uh attorney Trixie is uh saying because uh it should be uh taken uh, for themselves as themselves mm -hmm. if they are true or not considering that uh, it's her office that is saying this so mm -hmm. our questions would be limited on on what questions uh, our our uh, comments would be limited on what questions are being asked how they are asked how the the secretary is answering them mm -hmm. as part of our discussion on uh, on mass communication on the stuff yes. that we can do when we communicate with the public especially when it is the public and the government that are concerned okay? mm -hmm. uh, it this has nothing to do with that kung totoo ba yan o sino ngaling ba itong uh, gobyerno o mm -hmm. ano ba we will talk about uh, what kind of questions, the assumptions that are made uh, in uh, asking those questions and framing those questions and all that stuff. Right? So mm -hmm. that's clear. Okay, ang unang question. Eh, ulitin natin ang konti. Pwede ba ang ulitin to? Sige, sige, sige. Go ahead. Yan. So... Ma'am, follow up lang. Paano po yung mga uh, pag-search ng follow up ng sugar? Follow up na agad. Like we said, Then, it, it it is a matter of a balancing act. Now, we just imported Una. last Una. May. Uh, now, we uh, have to huh? determine if an other importation is possibly to address the crit an investigation. Oh, Ikaw yata ang Okay, okay. Wala kang control pala. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, did not assent. And it was the executive secretary who issued the order to no, create an importation plan. De, tama yan, tama yan, it tama is very tama. clear that there is no authorization for the importation of these 300,000 metric tons. An investigation is ongoing to determine whether any acts that would cause the president to lose trust and confidence in his officials can be found or if there is malice or negligence involved. In such a case, if such findings are made, then the only determination left. Tama yan. Kalahati na nga. to, tingnan mo. Kaya ah. nga, tama yan. Just go ahead. Yan. Pang, sa unang Just question pa it. lang yung i-comment ko. Kaya nga. Okay. Just play it. Okay. Okay. Okay, Will be how many heads are going to roll. We'll take your questions with the understanding that this, since this is an ongoing investigation, then we will be, we can only limit our answers to those that will not affect the fairness of such an investigation. First question, Zinki Batikados, IBC. Hi, yes, ma'am. Ma Good morning, po. Ma'am, um, since the President has now thumbed uh, down this particular proposal of importation of sugar, in the event that there is an insufficient um, supply of sugar in the country, what will the administration do, po? The... Okay. First question, comment natin. Mm. 
mm. uh, thumbed down the president. Sabi ng uh, reporter, the president has thumbed down. Ibig sabihin na uh, dinisapprove niya. Okay? Ang ang uh, ang uh, sumunod niya ng tanong ay uh, nag ay ang sinasabi ay nag-state siya ng presumption or assumption or uh, hypothetical situation. Sinabi niya in the event na mayroong shortage ng sugar, okay? Uh, ano ang plano ng gobyerno? Okay. okay, where is she coming from? This is where she's coming from. Yes. Right? So we are now okay. looking at uh, ano ang basis nitong kanyang question. Okay, ano ang basis ng okay. kanyang question? Kasi so, for you uh, for 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 a, for a person to ask what what happens when there is a uh, shortage considering that uh, the president thumbs down this importation. Okay, suriin natin. Alin ba dapat ang mauuna? ang uh, pagkaalam natin na merong shortage bago mag-approve or mag-disapprove ng uh, importation o mag import lang tayo na mag import at kung i-disapprove ng uh, presidente, tatanungin natin anong mangyayari kung may shortage. Because mm-hmm. ang intindi natin is that sa, sa introduction ni Attorney uh, Rixi Cruz Angeles na there is care uh, being observed by the government before to maintain that, the prices. Uh, yes. Before it decides to import sugar, because there are many considerations, and two of them would be that kailan ba magaharvest yung ating local uh, plants, plant planters, ng uh, sugar nila dito sa Pilipinas, at pangalawa kung uh, kung uh, ito bang importation nato will affect that harvest, okay, or that the proceeds of the sale after that uh, harvest has been made. So yung yun daw yung mga considerations among others ang uh, kinoconsider bago mag na mag-import. Okay. Ngayon, sinabi din ni Atty. Trixie Cruz Angeles na mag, mag-harvest uh, na raw ang Pilipinas, ang Filipino farmers ng uh, kanilang sugar this uh, coming October, uh, September. October. Next yeah. month na yun. Uh, how many days na lang yun? Di ba? So, mm-hmm. that so is ano. Replenishment. Uh, uh, so, now, there is already a compliance with the first uh, issue na hindi tayo mag-import kapag malapit na tayong uh, mag- mag-harvest kasi magkakaroon tayo ng oversupply kung mag-import tayo niya. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Pangalawa, is there, a, is there a finding that there is already a shortage of sugar right now? Doon sa sinasabi, sa sinabi na ni Atty. Cruz Angeles, wala naman daw nga shortage na seryoso uh, considering that meron na, sinabi na pa dito na meron ng nauna nauna na na importation just last uh, June ba yan o May? So, mm-hmm. walang determination na merong shortage. Okay? okay. Ang, uh, ang, uh, ang uh, decision to import was just made out of the blue na walang walang uh, walang meeting, walang uh, pagtutukoy kung meron nga talagang shortage right now. Okay. So, let's look at the, let's look at the numbers. Okay? Mm. Uh, in this in this um, in this table, which I hope you can see, no, uh, it says there the supply and the demand of uh, sugar in the country. Right now, this is coming from the Sugar uh, Regulatory Authority. Mm-hmm. So, sabi dito that uh, the total supply from uh, for the year, okay, the, the outer part is uh, for the year uh, 2020 to 21, no? Itong dito sa upper, upper uh, right corner. And then compare that with the inner or mas middle na tables for the 2021 to 2022. So look at the period covered. It is a July to sep- uh, September to July. It's not a one-year thing. Okay? And this one is a September to August yung kabila. Mm. Alright? So September 1 to August 1, that is about 11 months. Okay, so if you look at the other year, uh, the total demand for the period is 1.9 billion metric tons. Mm. Okay, 1.9. So if you divide that by 11 months, it's about uh, 100, 109, 180, something like that. 175,000 metric tons per month ang ating kinakain, alright? Or kinokonsumo for that particular 11-month period. Now for this year, natin, which covers about a period of 10 months, we consume, okay, on the demand side tayo, ha, dito sa demand side. So we consume 1.8. Uh, 1.8. So that's 10 months, so 180,000 
metric tons per month, more or less. How many do we have as of, or how many did how we uh, do we uh, did we uh, produce, or how many? Okay, how many? How much sugar did we have as of that period? We have a total supply now of uh, two million forty-four. So there's about two hundred thousand metric tons between these two. Okay. Mm. In fact, there, this is the balance, you know, right? So my transfers, there's still about 146,000. Left. Will there be, uh, will there be a uh, shortage? Legitimate yung tanong ng babae, no? Mm. All right, so legitimate yan. So if we will be having our, our, uh, our uh, uh, harvest only by next month, okay? Mm. Uh, will this be enough to cover the to tide us over? Yes, to tide us over until the next uh, the next um, period. But okay, do, do not do not forget. Okay, do not forget. All right, this one covers here on the supply side. Uh, imports nothing. Okay, for the whole walang period, import. walang import. But there was an import that was made in uh, June. 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 May. So, hindi pa yun nakapasok dyan. They're about uh -huh. to arrive. Okay? So, if you add that, how many how many metric tons were, were ordered last June? Diba? June yung natin. Eh. Hmm. No, we will uh, look at the data because uh, they made yes. uh, an effort to, to uh, this... Uh, Dispel the wrong, uh, ano daw, the wrong uh, unit. Ito, sorry, it clarifies. All right. Mm. So they made an order in June. Ah, mm. yeah. June. All right. Anyway, sige. Discuss mo muna na saglit. I'll just open the data and I'll, I'll put it up here para mas maganda. Okay. Patuloy natin yung pagpakinig natin ito. Ah, sige, sige. Patuloy muna natin. Okay. Department of Agriculture has the critical, uh, allegedly critical levels of sugar. However, we are also approaching harvest season. This is why the importation calls for a balancing act. Will such importation affect the harvest and the prices of our local growers? In the absence of such a determination, then we cannot issue a resolu the resolution should not have been issued with such haste as it appears to have been made. Ma'am, follow up lang. Paano po yung mga uh, pag-surge ng prices ng sugar? Pa paano natin i-address? Like we said, it is a matter of a balancing act. Now, we just imported last May. Now, we have to mm. determine if an other importation supposedly to address the critical levels that are approaching at the end of the month will affect the harvest season, which opens in September. So, again, a study is necessarily called for. And in fact, it was the executive secretary who issued the instruction for them to create an importation plan. In such importation plan, a determination has to be made about how this is going to f affect the incoming harvest. Next question. Ivan Mayrina, JMA7. Ma'am, klaruhin ko lang, CES po issued an order to create an importation plan. Iba po yun dun sa lumabas na sugar order number four. Oh, definitely, yes. So it was a directive, actually. It was verbally issued so that the president can make a determination later on whether or not the importation is actually warranted. So uh, would you say possibly home miscommunication ito? Uh, no. You don't convene the Sugar Regulatory Board in the absence of the president and in, in the absence of any such approval on his part. He did not approve the convening. You can only convene the board with the, with the assent, explicit assent of the president. And he did not make such an agreement. So while the investigation is ongoing, ano po ang status ngayon ng mga official ng uh, Sugar Regulatory uh, Board or Commission? They are under investigation. Pero are, are they still, you know, officially uh, holding well, their property? Well, there is no preventive suspension issued as of right now. So. Thank you. Next question. Neil Mercado, Inquirer. 
may full na pong questions on sugar. Ah, okay. Sa, eh, pause mo muna. Pause mo muna, man. Kasi nag-move sila to another... Um, ano? Have... Okay, nag-move sila to another uh, issue. Okay, so I will just uh, pull up the... Uh, the... Last order. Okay, the number three. Okay, the number three. Okay. And it's gonna be there. Tama? Lumabas, hindi? Wala? Teka lang, hindi pa, hindi pa. It's coming up. Okay. Alright. So this is the... Uh, the why is this a contentious, ish, uh, contentious order? Lumabas na po ba? Yan, nandiyan na. Okay, okay. Okay na. Okay, Nandaling so, ko lang itong... Uh, itong the contentious one is the number four. So this is the number three. Okay? And the number four was issued in February 2022 during the last administration. Okay? And uh, it looks like this. Mm. Uh, wait lang ha. Kasi natatakpan kayo. I-ano ko lang. Palakihin ko lang, no? Tama? Para makita uh, nyo. Palakihin. Palakihin mo. I-zoom out ko. Mm. Hmm. How do I zoom out? Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Scroll lang. Uh, ano? It's sa baba. Yeah, sa baba. Eh, plus, minus. Okay, okay, sa baba. Okay, okay, par, okay. Yung par, there, 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 there. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Tao lang. Tao lang. Ponte. Isha. Bawas. Yon, para magkasya. Yan. Yeah. Okay na? All right. Okay na yan. So, it says here that uh, there was a typhoon. Okay. And then, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, this is the part that we are interested about. Now, therefore, by authority vested in the Sugar Regulatory Administration, SRA, the following is hereby ordered. Number one, the sugar import program shall be for the crop year 2021 to 22. Okay, volume and uh, type of sugar to be imported. This type of uh, import is uh, 200,000 metric tons refined sugar. Of this total import, 100,000 metric tons shall be uh, standard grade refined sugar and the other 100,000 metric tons shall be butler's grade refined sugar. Okay, so the sino, yung sinundan niya pala is for 200,000. Whether this has uh, arrived, Walang nakalagay dun sa ating statistics na tiningnan kanina na importation for the two years that uh, we looked at. So therefore, wala pang dumating for this one. Okay, and kung may in-import no May, as uh, Attorney Trixie is uh, saying, it must come from this uh, from this uh, order. So, okay, so this import program is open and voluntary to industrial users or refined of refined sugar that are duly registered with the SRA as an international sugar trader in good standing for crop year 2021-22. Okay, now this is probably the most pretentious issue there because this does not allow you and me to buy sugar anywhere. Only a few will make uh, money out of this one, no? the ones who are registered. Okay, so provided that the SRA registered industrial user may use the services of an SRA registered international sugar trader. Oh, there's a trader now involved. My DTI registration to, no? Panahon yun na. Alam mo na. In good standing for CY to 2021-22 to import the sugar. Oh, secretary. DTI, that way. Uh, provided further that an industrial user that is not duly registered with the SRA as an international sugar trader for the crop year must secure the services of an SRA registered international sugar trader. So therefore, kung kailangan mo, maki-ride on ka. No, maki-ride on ka sa kanyang lisensya. Bayad ka. Exactly. Bibili ka doon sa may lisensya. Mm. To import the sugar Ganun for its account. Otherwise, the unregistered industrial user is not eligible to participate. Uy, okay yung uh, rock na yan ah. Oo. Yun. Tingnan mo muna, oh. attorney, kung okay yan. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Sige. Kausapin ko lang ito sa so, sa'yo. Ang tanong ko dyan, ay uh, habang kinakausap ko yung uh, tumawag sa'yo, ay... Uh, Parang nagkakaroon ng ano, parang nagkakaroon ng uh, eh, monopoly dito ng asukal dahil uh, sa importation na to, eh, hindi naman monopoly kasi siguro marami naman silang SRA registered but 
there will be now a captive uh, consumer or buyer, na not necessarily consumer because it, it may be a distributor lang din ito sa Pilipinas, na mga imported sugar. Meanwhile, walang sinasabi dito na wala na tayong produkto so, ng sugar na natitira. So that, that is not important. Nick, Nick. Hmm. <laughs> okay, micromanage ni Uncle JP ang kanyang uh, ano, surroundings. Hindi, si ano pa rin to, yung guest natin kanina, pinapaturoan ko sa anak ko kung paano mag-zoom. Ah, ah, mag-zoom. <laughs> okay. okay, so this is the, you know, we're here and... Uh, okay. So, move forward natin ng konti, no? Hindi pa malinaw, hindi pa malinaw ang Paul JP sa ating uh, research dito kung while this uh, this uh, order the yung number 3, okay? Ay uh, ay uh, habang in order nila to ay hindi natin alam kung meron pang sugar na natitira from Meron tayong nakita kanina na meron tayong 144,000 metric tons. And, and uh, understandably Uh, I think yung uh, itong order na to covers the new year na hindi ito sa last okay. cycle, di ba? Ang August okay. yung last cycle. Uh, what, this, what does this uh, cover? Okay? Ang sabi kasi dito, 2021 to 2022. 2020. Mm. And the statistics that we were looking earlier, which also comes from them, this was updated as of July 31 of this year. Okay? This year. So this is very very recent data. Ito yung kagandahan ng panahon ni Digong, no? When we are able to see recent data. Okay? It says here, look, imports. Zero. Uh, Ros- okay, sugar. Wala, oh. Zero. So between 2021 and 2022, wala pang dumating dyan sa 200,000 metric tons na na-authorize na. Hmm. So how okay. did they make a determination that there is a... Uh, lock. An, a, a, coming, a coming shortage? Uh, parang ano, pa, yes, parang ano siguro yan, parang prognosis, parang uh, parang uh, expectation na baka magkaroon dahil may UDEP. Di ba? No, yung, UDEP uh, is already finished. Pa- no, 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 no. That, that one is from the UDEP. UDEP happened in uh, 2021. Or maybe 2020, I do not remember, no? But the point okay. here is that uh, right now, we only have Okay, 146,000 metric tons. Okay, but they they're supposed to have already ordered based on this one, which was subsisting already in May. So there were already orders based on this one incoming. Incoming. Okay, because this was issued Feb 2022. Oh. Yung, right. yung kanilang order ay yung kanilang yung order. contentious is number four. This is number three. Yes, this is the context. This is the context. Oh, this is where they are coming from. Kaya nga number four yung contentious, di ba, kahapon? All right. Bakit, uh, kung, kung totoo ito, at uh, kung, uh, kung uh, yung report na tinignan natin kanina is current, then maaaring hindi pa dumadating tong order na to. Wala talaga kasi eh, well that is the sugar regulatory authority unless they are they are not uh, reflecting in their records. Yes. Etong uh, transactions so, ng mga importers of sugar who are supposed to be registered with them kasi hindi ka dapat nagii-import ng asukal nang hindi alam ng sugar regulatory authority. Merong import dito eh, merong import dito eh. uh, that is the refined uh, Where? Yeah. Where? refined sugar. Sa baba? Uh, ito, oh, yun. Is, uh, okay, okay, okay. Here, here, here pala. Meron. Meron. Ayun o. Okay. Refined sugar. No. Okay, so kung ang imports ay... Oh. Meron na. Ayun o, tatlo. Nakatakat, nakatatlo. So this one is already... Uh, so nabubos na nila yung kanilang uh, 200. Okay, under 3, no? SO3. Kasi SO3, SO4 yun from 2019 to 2020, 2020 to 2021, at saka yung SO3, 21 to 22, 172 yung, uh, what's that demand? Is that the demand? Ah, so may 30 na lang. No, no, no. This is the, this is the supply side. 
Okay, so ang natitira pa na lang pala doon is 30,000 metric tons. Okay. Mukhang shortage nga. Shortage nga. No, no, no. It's, it's not. Because if it's only 30,000 and we have 146,000, okay, and we consume 180, tama lang. And every week, there is production. Ha? There, there is production every week. Continuous yun. Let's open the production. Ha? The sugar production. Nakapasok na. Sige. Let me just uh, open. Okay. Ayan. Okay. Yeah, so, sige. It, it, ano mo muna? I-open ko lang yung ano para kayo. Yung uh, statistics. Dado lang ko siya na ko. Sige lang, mamaya. Yeah, but that is your evidence there. Yes. Okay, okay. Ay, nako. Kawawa naman. Hindi. Ano pa yung, bakit natin kinakausap yung guest natin kanina sa tambayan? I-guest natin dito. Hindi, tinuturoan ko. Mamaya na, online ako. Sige lang, i-edit out ko na lang yung mamaya. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, sugar supply and demand situation, okay? Uh, lalabas ba ito? Hindi, no? Alin? Okay, okay. So, uh, no, no, no. I have to transfer kasi to the other, ano? Pwede ba yun? Hindi. Hindi, no? Transfer to other document? No, another, another, ano? No, the, the other one is a video. Hindi yan siya. Another tab. Hindi siya pwede, no? Pwede, pwede. Tanggalin mo muna itong nandito ngayon. Kaya nga, I have to take it out. Yes, and uh, share again a, a tab. Okay. A yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And then I'll share another one. So anyway, uh, yes. okay, I was also looking at the prices. Mag-share muna tayo. Mag-share okay. muna Yan, mag-share muna kayo. Oh, yan, kaya nga. Sige, magpati ka muna dyan. Magpati. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 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 I think this approve is not proper term. Term. This approve. Dini sa approve ngayon ta. Thumb down eh. Pero okay. The, what what we are talking about here is uh, what happened to that uh, order okay uh, what happened to that order is that it's been uh, disallowed it's, it's it's canceled it's an illegal uh, order sabi ni uh, ng uh, Malacañang dahil ay hindi nga yan siya authorized ng uh, isang miyembro ng chairman ng ESA Sugar Regulatory uh, Board or whatever it is SRB ba yan siya o na ang oh, sh- ng tao SRB. na yon ay ang presidente at itong si Sebastian ay uh, ito ay uh, parang authorized to attend meetings of this uh, board of this particular uh, group to represent the president when the president cannot attend that meeting okay but that when that meeting is called uh, which has to be uh, with the consent of the president so hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng ganitong meeting na tawagin itong meeting na to na hindi uh, pinayagan yeah. o either pinatawag ng presidente mismo or pinatawag ng board with the consent of the president. Yeah. Okay? Ang authority dito kay Sebastian ay mag-attend lang ng meeting na yan kapag ito ay properly convened, okay? properly called for, and uh, the president cannot attend the meeting for for, for legal reasons. Well, uh, meron siyang appointment and all that stuff. Because when we say attend, we mean uh, actual physical attend and dance. Okay, so hindi pwedeng uh, mapunta ang presidente, meron mer- mer- siyang representante. But that, uh, repre- that uh, representative has no authority to sign any document. And that it appears that uh, he did sign this document uh, by himself and uh, others na nag-approve nitong resolution na wala namang authority ng presidente dahil hindi naman siya authorized to sign in behalf of the president. Yan yun. Mm-hmm. Yan yun. Mm-hmm. Yan dyan sa organ na yan. Itong uh, SO number 4 of uh, this mm-hmm. year. Sugar yeah. order. O, no? Ano itong uh, ano? I-add na natin ito sa stream? Wait lang, wait lang. Wait lang muna. Okay. Okay. Yan. Sige, sige. Game, game. Sige. Add mo. Okay. Yan. 
So this is the raw production per month. Okay? So you will see that there is still production on the month of September. Okay? And when you go around, meron pa rin ng August, may production pa rin yan as of last year. You know, may production pa rin yan. Although mababa kasi nga, mag-harvest by September. Hmm. Eh, di ba? Gets mo? So, aabot eh. Okay, so may 4,000 ka dito, may order ka doon. Oo, minikot niya yan. yan. And, and in terms of prices, okay, in terms of prices, there was a question there na tumataas na daw yung presyo. Actually, the statistics by the uh, by this body, uh, lumalabas na ba? No, 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 not that one. Not that one. Not that one, pare ko. Ito pala. Sorry, ah. Where is it? Sorry, ito. Sorry, 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 sorry. Control C. Ito pala yung tinitingnan nyo. Oo nga. Oo nga. Yan. That one. Ah, naglo-load pa lang. Hmm. Yan. It goes around but it's slow. Okay? Like, look yeah. at the year 2021. Here on the second column, no? there are months there. It starts with September. So, the crop year starts in September in that, for that industry. But, uh, okay? Tingnan mo yung ano, yung, uh, yung pag-angat. Meron pang production by August. Diba? So, look at the 2021 data. But in some years, like in 2019, wala. Alright? So, August is really the lowest pala na production dyan. Alright? Kasi dulo na siya. Yes. So if we have 100, kumbaga, if we have 80% now and then we have the kakulangan coming, what, what that order would have done is arrive in the, the period of October or November. Okay? And in this period, this is also the peak of our productions. And that will dampen the income of the of the, the, local, uh, the local manufacturers. Oh. Dito yan siya tatama. Hindi naman yan tatama if you order now. Hindi yan oh. siya tatama sa buwan ng Agosto. At hindi rin yan siya tatama sa buwan ng uh, Oktubre. Dito yan tatama sa buwan ng mga to. Yung tatlong yan. Oo. Kasi uh, if you look at the the order that we looked at kanina, oh. SO number 3, 2021, Okay. Eh, medyo late na yun dumating. Yung SO number 3, 2021 was made. Hindi pa nga oh, sinaubos eh. February. Oh. Hindi pa nga oh, sinaubos oh. eh. Hindi pa nakarating yung buong uh, 200,000 metric tons na inalaw to be imported. Since so, February. So, hindi yan siya one shipment. Hindi yan ibig sabihin one shipment yung 300,000 na megatons na yan. Ang dami niyan. Ilang barko yan. Metric tons. Wala metric tons, not megatons. <laughs> Oo. Kasi yung one metric ton is already 1,000 tons, 1 million kilos na yan of sugar. Okay? So we are talking here of 300,000 million? Uh, 300,000 thousand. So 300 billion kilos of, ano, of uh, sugar. Okay, so, yun. Hindi pa nga naubos yung sa February. So, if you order now, it will arrive at this months kung saan mataas yung ating production. Tama naman so, yung ano. Di ba? Uh, tama ba? Uh, may, nadating, we, nadating yung ano yung in-order nila sa panahon na meron din tayong produkto. Di, di, then you will uh, destroy the local uh, local market. So, matatalo tayo dyan. Oo. Oh. Yun. Kasi the, the, the peak of our productions is January, February, and March. Okay? So kung yung February na order, March, April, May, June, July, August, six months, hindi pa nakarating. Yung, uh, yung huling parte. And it's coming. It's supposed to come now. Yun yung target niyan. So if it takes six months, and then you order another one now, you authorize another one now, July, August, September, okay. It will arrive on January at the peak of our productions. Kakalabanin mo tong ito, 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 mga to. Ito mga buwan kung saan farmers. meron tayong production. Okay. Hindi naman to mga farmers na ordinaryo. Hacienderos. Uh, oh, mga kasike. kasike. Mga kasike. Hacienderos. Oh. Yung aming so, lahi. Mga so, yun yung, yun yung, ano, yan yung problema oh. natin dyan dahil Nakakalimutan natin itong mga ahensya na to na batayan kasi ang oh. binabantayan natin ay yung presidente, yung kanyang uh, 
yung kanyang uh, gustong uh, mag-ingit mag tinagalog tayong lahat o mag english tayong lahat at hmm. yung mga uh, ano grammar na, grammar pinagkagawa uh, natin sa movies sa uh, uh, sa sinehan at dito sa sa social media nakalimutan hmm. na nating lahat pati rin ng media na itong pinagmamayabang itong sarili nila na sila daw ay uh, tagabantay ng uh, mga nangyayaring ito ay nakalimutan din nila sumama-sama lang sila sa atin din dito sa Facebook Okay? Uh-huh. Yan yung tinutukan nila. So, kung ganun pala tayong lahat dito, uh, mga vloggers at saka mga media ay nandito rin, uh, sumusunod lang sa sa Gyera Patani na katar- katarantaduhan nating lahat dito sa social media, o oh, edi eh, walang katotohanan na mas mabuti pa pala sila kaysa sa atin. <laughs> Pare-pareho lang pala tayo mga chismoso marites dito sa social media samantala na, nahuhuli na lang ng presidente natin, ng executive secretary, na may kulukadidangs na pala doon sa Sugar Regulatory uh, Board. Yep. And there are so, so many uh, boards that are uh, that are authorizing importations like uh, the ones for rice, the ones for NS, meat, uh, NFA. Yes. Uh, meat, rice, uh, even even seafoods. Those Vegetables. are all those are all under the uh, under the president now. Oh, the, yeah, exactly. Okay. So, And then It's the just other... for a fitting. It's just fitting na siya yung ano. Siya yung nakahuli nito. Dahil siya nga naman yung DA, di ba? Very good. Yeah, that's true. And kagabi, uh, sa ating pinag-usapan, di ba? Sino yung DA secretary na nag-resign? Di ba? Si Lopez yun. Now, this one, uh, we just uh, need to uh, take a look lang. No? Kasi nagkaroon na pala ng issue, sir, nung ano, nung number three pa lang. Okay, so look at how they... Uh, They uh, they uh, ca- okay. They uh, countered you yeah, know the issue, so mm. they released this last June, last uh, the other month lang, no? Mm. Okay, unfounded statement number one: baseless. There is plenty of sugar. We have 60 million metric tons of sugar. Sugar shortage is a figment of the imagination of the secretary Dar, uh, secretary Dar and administration administrator Serapica. Fact. Ala Rappler talaga yung dating nito. No? There was never a time in history that the Philippines had 60 million metric tons. Yeah, that's true. 60 million metric tons. Ah, wala na to. Ang laki naman taon. yung million. <laughs> 24 nga lang yung, yung kabuang taon, di ba? So, hmm. our highest production ever was recorded 2.5 million metric tons. Hmm. For the real sugar situation based on the stock balance as of June 19, 2022, a raw sugar supply will last until August 4, 2022. Ah, tama. Oh. Last day na pala yung birthday ko na may sopal. So, yan yung kanilang binuffer with the number three, which was just in time. Okay? And for that, uh, I think uh, hindi yan questionable kung sino man ang nagperma nun, no? Kung baga, hmm. maybe that was really approved before. Hmm. Diba? Wala tayong mga kong questioning yan eh. Kasi kung hindi nila inisyo yung number three, wala tayong sopal ngayon. Okay, for this crop Ilang. year, uh, which uh, started September 1, uh, hmm. September 1 magsisimula na in just a few days. Our final estimate uh, with production of raw sugar is 1.8 million metric tons. Okay, so that is the no, unfounded statement number one fact. Okay, this is the refined sugar now. Our carryover stock was 144,000 metric tons. Our estimated refined sugar production is 771,000 metric tons, giving us a total refined sugar stock balance of 915,000. Okay, so yan pala yun. Okay, so there is a, no, unfounded number two, baseless. There is no damage from typhoon or death. Fact, okay, the damage by the typhoon was real. Okay, meron naman talaga. Okay, yan. Number three, baseless. In an alleged Zoom meeting with SRA administrator that Mr. Lamatas claims to have attended uh, two months ago, SRA technical personnel supposedly said that production has gone up. Uh, okay, this is this is not true. We have seen this from the numbers kanina that last mm. year mababa siya, di ba? Mm. Oh, tama naman sila dyan. Unfounded statement number four, 200,000 metric tons of imported sugar under number three, 2022, is already here in the country. We have seen it. Na it's not yet. Even, uh, kumbaga, hindi pa siya na deplete yung 200,000 na inauthorized. So most of the imported sugar under sugar order number three has not yet arrived in the Philippines. SRA is the only authority use issuing clearances. 
So in that in that case, uh, tama rin yung pinagawa ng executive secretary na pag-aralan nyo muna or make a good study so that we will know how to proceed. Importation so, dito, plan. Yan yung importation plan. Yan yes. Yung ang mali dito is sinabihan sila mag-aral, nag-issue sila ng SRA. <laughs> Yun na. You went beyond your, ano? Oh, the import volume is too much. You went beyond. Sige, sige, go, go. go. Uh, uh, you, okay, sabi dito, the import volume daw na 200,000 is way too much. In fact, we, we see it now that it's just enough. Tama? It just, mm. uh, ano, so yun. Hindi naman to ganun pala ka questionable itong uh, opisina na to, no? They are actually uh, doing their jobs also. No? That's right. Except okay. that uh, dito sa sitwasyon na to, they were not really authorized. They, they were uh, that guy was not authorized to sign in behalf of the yes. president. Lang naman ang issue yata. No matter what, uh, no matter the good intentions, when mm. you are not uh, authorized to do anything oh. that good, like, uh, alam mo yun, marami tayo mga friends dyan na... Uh, assuming, yeah. yun, nag-assume. Assuming, yun. Ay, alam mo, the lesson here is assuming, you know? Na yun yung tinatawag natin assumptions at saka presumptions. Yun. In uh, communication, in asking questions in the press briefing, in deciding oh. uh, official uh, functions and mga ganyan, kailangan... Kagayin nito. Ito, ito, itong lalaki ito. Pakinggan niyo. Uh, tanggalin muna natin itong... Cons- uh, how much of a concern yeah. is this information to the Marcos administration? Okay, okay. balikan ko lang ha. No, uh, ibalik, balik natin. Okay ito, ang tanong ni Ivan Mayrina, oh, this is very legitimate. Okay. I like this. They are under investigation. Pero are, are they still, you know, officially uh, holding well, their Well, there is no preventive suspension issued as of right now. So. Thank you. Okay. Next question. Okay. Ito ha, pakinggan nito. Ito, ito, ito. Inquirer. Inquirer. Okay. Full Inquirer. of questions on sugar. If I can go to another topic. If we can answer it. Okay. Um, Ma'am, how big of a concern, uh, how much of a concern is this information to the Marcos administration? <laughs> How big of a concern is this information to the Marcos administration? Okay. Attorney Ahmed, would you like to answer that for me? <laughs> no, I, I cannot answer it uh, for for the president, but uh, I can... Ako, meron ako. Ah, sige, sige. Hindi, <laughs> galing to sa'yo eh. Notes mo to nung isang, isang gabi. <laughs> ah. De, ah. Di ba? Yes, yes, yes. Hindi ko mabasa dahil dyan. mayroong play, may play, ah, play something. Ah, okay, okay. Nakikita eh. natin. Hmm. Sabi, di, sabi mo dito, this information is a subset of propaganda and is defined as false information that is spread deliberately to deceive people. It is sometimes confused with misinformation which is false information but ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. Anyway, tinan mo yung okay. mukha ni si Trixie. <laughs> okay. But, ang reaction ni, ano, ni attorney uh, Trixie Cruz Angeles ay uh, hindi ma... Parang ako. Hindi ah, nawari. What are you ano asking me? Ano yung tanong? Gaano po ka-importante, okay, gaano ka-importante sa mga Marcos, okay, sa, kay, kay, sa presidente, ang uh, disinformation? Ha? Importante ba sa inyo? Uh, kayo, nakikinig dito. Is it important to you uh, at all? Uh, disinformation? Disinformation is important, di ba? But uh, in this, in this, no, no, in this particular press briefing, okay, where mm-hmm. Trixie really said, uh, okay, we are going to focus on this. Uh, why would you ask that and insist on that question, which is actually as uh, old as the Duterte administration? Why it's okay? older been, than that? Okay, because they've been accusing the government of being behind the disinformation. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then now. You will ask this. Meron tong connect bukas sa mga balita. Bantayan uh, we, we will see. Okay. Pero ito Bantayan muna yan. itatanong natin. Do you see the vagueness of that question? Because uh, something that we call important is something that we put value on. Why, why do we put value on this information? Uh, maybe we put value on combating this information or we value information that is proper. Uh, we value proper information. And we do not give value to this information, okay? And uh, the, another way of saying that, in uh, fashioning your question, is how important is is it to the Marcos uh, family or to the Marcos administration to combat 
uh, disinformation if it exists, okay, or if it is accused of them. That is the proper way of saying that. Now, saying that uh, question in this manner is either ignorance, or he does not know what the hell he is talking about, or he is just completely malicious in what he is talking about. Um, malicious yan kasi ang kanilang uh, assumption dyan sa grupo nila is that um, itong uh, pamilya nga daw ng mga Marcos, kasi nga meron yung section ang, ano eh, ang rappler called Marcos Fact Check. Ibig sabihin, meron na sila nakadevote just for so, uh, checking everything. Mm. There's an assumption. Mm. So, And then, pag tinanong mo, uh, kung, meron na kasi kaming assumption eh na sinungaling kayo. Sabihin mm. nyo. So, mm. how important is it to you na mag-disinform ng uh, mga tao? <laughs> oh. So, it's probably uh, going to be slanted tomorrow like uh, this entire uh, SRA thing is an disinformation uh, attempt by the Marcos uh, administration. I don't okay. know. Uh, that would be the worst uh, part, but let's see. Uh, how I, I, I really don't know at this point if this uh, reporter is a moron or uh, he is Hindi, a manager. I don't know. I don't know hmm. which is which. But that question uh, really is uh, just completely problematic. And out of uh, out of line. I'm sorry. I, I need to know what the basis of your question <laughs> is. Um, because uh, may mga mga nagsasabi na uh, uh, yung win po ni President Marcos was uh, may full of parang maraming disinformation what? during the campaign that had boost yung uh, campaign ni President Marcos. So uh, maybe... Uh, Okay, uh, hindi ko na matiis tong taong to. Sige, How much of a concern is disinformation to this administration? If any illegal... Okay, okay, okay muna, okay muna. Well, let's not uh, discuss the answer of the of the press secretary for, for a while. Ang tanong muna, ang, ang tirada niya eh, there is talk that, uh, that the campaign of uh, Mr. Marcos was uh, made up of uh, disinformation. <laughs> That is uh, uh, virtually what he is talking about. Mm. His basis is there is talk of 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 there is talk of mm. what what is that? Uh, is that a uh, is that a name of a person? Uh, is 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 that a fact made? Amor, amor, amor. Ah, amor, 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 amor. Okay, so if there amor. is something, it is true, and, and therefore if it is true, then uh, amor you are by. Uh, Amor din pala. Mm. Mm. So that is the presumption of this question. The presumption mm. of this question is that uh, since there is talk that, uh, that mm. uh, this campaign was uh, run on disinformation, therefore he's uh, winning the presidency is uh, also uh, based on disinformation. So then therefore, they... how, is, how important is this uh, to this uh, administration, this uh, inform disinformation thing? Okay. Does that doesn't But... make any sense to you? No, no, no. Okay sana kung ginawa niyo yung tanong ngayon mga bandang uh, second week of July. But it's already the second week of August. Di ba? Uh, or maybe uh, right after the election, pwede niya may tanong yan. Parang ngayon ka lang nakapunta ng press convoy, ngayon lang nakatanong, nakapagtanong talaga, issue pa ba talaga yan? Parang bagong ligo diba? siya. Or, or, or based on our discussion, batting out of batting out. They do not want the issue to stop. Ah, so they want okay. a fresh answer so that they will ring the bell again. I understand. Oh, now, I understand. Now. But I now. Okay. Yo. Yeah. Uh, been committed in the proper venue for that would be the courts. Mm -hmm. So that's our only reaction here. The freedom of speech is prevailing in this country. It's guaranteed by the Constitution. People can say that. People can talk about it. They can discuss these matters. Mm. But no such wrongdoing has been committed. Thank you, Pa. <laughs> Kat uh, Domingo, ABN. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, I understand that yesterday the president... Uh, ABS. ABS, ABS. Ang, ang sabi ni, ang sagot ni Atty. Trixie... Ay, wait lang, wait lang. Wait lang. Maganda, maganda, maganda. Maganda, maganda, maganda. Maganda, maganda, maganda. Maganda yung mata niya, no? Sana yung uh, ngipin niya, hindi mo kang ngipin ng peran, ha? Anyway. Uh, ito, ito, maganda din yung aso ko. Maganda rin. Held a meeting oh. with the Department of Trade and Industry with regard to um, uh, fertilizers. Yes. May we mm -hmm. know what was discussed in that meeting? 
Well, as you know, foremost on the President's mind is to protect our agricultural industries, our agriculture. And part of the concerns of our farmers are the prices of fertilizer. So this was among those things that were discussed by the President with the, the DTI Secretary. Since the DTI was involved, will price caps be implemented over several <laughs> um, uh, ingredients of fertilizers or raw materials? We will have to wait for the DTI to make a recommendation. Wait, sir. Good answer, good answer, good answer. Oh, what are you saying, sir, about the DTI involvement in that meeting? Wait lang, wait lang. Kasi yung fertilizer kasi, it's a... Uh, una, is it, a, is it a product that is being regulated by the DTI? I think kasi it's being regulated by the Department of Agriculture. Eh. Kasi those are... Uh, those are... Uh, parang, di ba? Like in the Consumer Act, there are... There are uh, items which are regulated by the Bureau of Animal Industry and Fisheries. And then there is the the health part, yung sa BFAD, and then the other consumer uh, products are regulated by the DTI, no? So I I'm not so sure whether the DTI has any uh, direct influence about the pricing or the importation of fertilizers. Not even in the no in the certification of what fertilizers are allowed to be used in the country. No, because those are specialized things. Inspection of fertilizer, whether that is uh, going to be a uh, um, disastrous to the environment or not. But I think the only part that the DTA plays in that is in the selling part, yung pag manage ng tindahan, which is their uh, their only role. So as far as pricing is concerned, I do not see any connection. Pero uh, yun nga, sabi ni. Trixie, unless there is a recommendation. Di ba? Okay. So, i-play natin to si DTI. Pero, okay, itong question naman na isa, isingit ko lang to, Torne, kasi baka mawala, no? May nagtatanong about uh, the uh, ABC5 and uh, Channel 2. My answer there is uh, this. As of now, it's just a plan being floated. Okay? And uh, for Attorney Ahmed and me to make any comment on that, it's premature. Unless they do it really. Let them do it. So, enough muna na pabayan na muna natin sila. But maybe if we can comment, we'll comment on the theoretical side. No, ganun lang siguro mamaya or whatever. Who knows? Pag-usapan natin yan mamaya. But on the theoretical plane. Job Manahan, ABS-CBN Online. Good morning po ma'am, uh, Job Manahan po from ABS-CBN. Uh, regarding po dun sa fertilizers pa rin, yes, uh, may mm. mga bansa po ba na tinitingnan na pagkukunan po ng fertilizer supply since na-mention po it, before ni President na parang he's planning to write Ito ba yung tinatanong no, si girl? Uh, governments regarding this. The President will or make an announcement as the whatever countries when he does write such letters. Uh, tapos um, regarding naman po ito sa state of calamity declaration nationwide because of the pandemic ma'am wait uh, wait wait mga ABS-CBN boys din to no Med? so the girl kanina was ABS-CBN oh. and then this one is also ABS-CBN and they were asking ABS about what CBN. letters oh. what letters were they asking Marami about naman yan sila, ano, eh. uh, ANC meron ding ABS-CBN yeah I want to know what the letter was uh, this, uh, about. before ni president na parang He's planning to write a letter personally to uh, governments regarding this. The President will make an announcement as to the whatever countries when he does write such letters. Uh, tapos, um, regarding naman po ito sa state of calamity declaration nationwide because of the pandemic, ma'am, uh, former Pro uh, President Rodrigo Duterte's proclamation extending the state of calamity will end na po because of the pandemic uh, in nearly a month or on September 12th this year may info po ba if uh, president marcon is uh, president marcos is keen on extending this it will depend on the recommendation of the doh but we will make the announcement when the time comes yun uh teka lang hindi ko lang ano okay hold I, on, just, hold, hold uh, on. Yan, 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 yan. i just say come welcome on. welcome uh, for uh, okay welcome to you and antabayanan mo because uh, 
probably you will na uh, you will hear the best uh, comments on their actions and their uh, ano from the two of us when it comes when it happens uh, so itong tanong nila is about the uh, letters on prices prices ng ano pared internet uh, fertilizer kung sino kinakausap ni uh-huh. presidente okay and yung state of calamity oh, whether uh, what will happen after legit naman yun. naman oh, yun. kasi importante itong itong uh, state calamity yeah, state of calamity uh, teka, teka. Pause muna. Hmm. Uh, ang importante yeah, kasi dito yeah. dahil importante ito dahil it allows okay that that puts up in in uh, state of calamity allows the importation of certain things uh na without so much fuss okay uh, na medyo sweetik mabilis uh, smooth mm. na pagpapa order ng mga importation ng mga ganito ganyan mm. uh, dahil sa state of calamity ngayon ang tinatanong nila diyan is really actually connected to the issue which is uh, this uh, importation of sugar kasi mm. napadali actually ng patas na yon uh, yung ating state of uh, under being a uh, state of calamity uh, napadali ang pagpapa-import ng sugar and all that stuff uh, na matitigil o matatapos na ngayong September 12. Kaya importante oh, na malapit na pala yan. And we still malapit don't know the pala. answer to that. Kasi ang presidente ang mag-decide whether or not to extend that. Mm. Uh, tsaka may, may advantage pala tayo dyan. Uh, during a state of calamity, mayroong mga loans na nagiging available sa SSS, sa PhilHealth Pag-ibig usually. Ay, hindi pala PhilHealth. SSS and Pag-ibig, mga calamity loans, they become available. Play? Yes. Importante yun siya. Larga, larga. Ma'am, yesterday, uh, the Presidential Legal Council issued several statements against um, defeated mayoralty candidate uh, in, in Quezon City. May we get the palace's comment on that issue? There is no comment. The visit was just a social call. So there is no truth to observations that uh, the former congressman may be appointed as the next MMDA chief next year after the one-year yeah. ban. Uh, right now, we have no information on that. As you know, you're right. There is a one-year ban, so there will be no announcement as to who will be appointed, even assuming that it's going to be him. So. Right now, that's in the realm of speculation. Thank I'm you, on ma'am. a related point You're to welcome. that question, please. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kasi putol-putol na, hindi ko na maintindihan yung sinasabi. So, uh, i-disable ko muna yung uh, video. Tanong lang, uh, audio lang. Uh. Yung tanong niya is based on uh, sabi-sabi na naman. Okay, uh, is, is it normal ikaw kasi sa media ka nang galing uh well nandoon ka na for a long time um tama ba ito na uh, galing sa chismis yung kanilang source and then they, they uh, verify it uh with this uh suddenly just verify it to uh with the, with the uh, official eh, ganito ang press secretary uh pero without uh without proof that uh, there is actually such uh, sabi-sabi uh, ako, I am not aware of that. But uh, the fact na tinatanong niya ng ganyan is uh, parang uh, mahilig talaga to silang man, magpapaniwala sa mga sabi-sabi at itatanong sa mga opisyal kung totoo o hindi. So ang nangyayari tuloy, ang mga opisyal natin nagiging busy sa pagsasagot uh, ng mga tanong dito tungkol sa mga sabi-sabi na okay. walang kinalaman dito sa ating uh, discussion. Okay. I, we do not Tama have to go... Oh, we do not have to go uh, into experience on that. In fact, we discussed this. Yung alam mo yung ah, pangit pala yung signal natin no, no? yung merong meron tayong mga graph from the Global Disinformation uh, Index. So there how does one one uh, disinformation become truth? You release it and then within 24 hours you mm. hear it again. And then it is reinforced by other networks. So a lie becomes true. And uh, the lie 
even if it is a positive, ano, even if it's denied, becomes more true when it is being responded. Ayan. And that is how you pressure yeah. uh, government. So sometimes, you know? sometimes, uh, sometimes, uh, ang nangyayari is uh, media, our mainstream media, would ask anything under the sun in order mm-hmm. just just to, to provoke a mistake to be made no, by a... Uh, it's not under the sun. It's not mistake. under the sun. Na, it's not under the sun. It's planned. As we said, the, nothing goes out of these people's mouths, these reporters, nothing goes out of their mouths unless it has been pre-approved by their oh, I understand that. I understand that. So, so, so this uh, media, media companies, uh, media out, mm. out uh, uh, sources are, uh, mm. are, part, are making part of it uh, of their past, uh, asking questions that are uh, Anywhere, that they uh, anywhere, that to that, be found anywhere. That they make, uh, the... So, kahit yes, ano yes. na lang talaga ang itatanong nila just to prove something, that is the plan. No, the plan is, they want you to do something. And in this case, it may be either to block yes. Mike Defensor's chance of ever becoming an MMDA chair, or to post his name ah. to be considered as an MMDA chair. Those are the two... Uh, to possible, possible uh, uh, outcomes. And since it's the ABS-CBN, oh. which is uh, pushing it, I'm more inclined to think that it is in the pushing him to become the MMDA chair. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Oh. Continue, continue. Why? Why, why, why? You don't want to know why? Huh? You don't want to know why? Ayaw na I want to. Why? Because it, it was Mike Defensor who actually invited Juan Ponce and Rile to speak in Congress on behalf of abs while attacking abs mm. Sabay po nung pag-call out na yun ni Chief Presidential Legal Counsel ay yung panawagan na, and I quote, Mag, uh, mag-ingat tayo uh, that we may be construed as carelessly showing an arrogance of power in our behavior as public persons, especially if we are somewhat identified with the current regime. Does the palace uh, share that sentiment of the Chief Presidential Legal Counsel? The palace has no reaction. Thank you. <laughs> Last question. Uh, we have two more questions. Uh, si- sino ba yung Presidential Legal Counsel? Med- Bago? Ah, wala na ito kausap. Sino yung Presidential Legal Counsel? Nandito ako, nandito ako, nandito ako, nandito ako. No, who is the Presidential Legal Counsel na pinagsasabi nila? Anyway, we just find out. Sinrile, Sinrile. Ah, si Enrile? Ah, nakikinig pala sila kay Enrile. Secretary, nito mga nakaraang araw po o linggo, marami yung mga uh, anti-illegal drug operations. Uh, ano sorry, na, anti- maraming drug operations po. Okay. Ano na po ang policy ni Pangulong Marcos sa campaign on illegal drugs? Tuloy po ang campaign laban sa illegal na droga at pinagkakatiwalaan niya ang kanyang chief PMP na mag-set ng polisiya at direktiba ukol dito. Nilabas naman po ni chief PMP na uh, tuloy-tuloy ang kanilang operasyon and they will be compliant with the law pursuant to this. Hmm. Chris Jose, remate. Ma'am, statement lang po sa pagkamatay ni Ms. Ligia de Tepo Mercado. Uh, issuein po namin mamaya na sa, ano, with the president will be issuing his own statement. So let's just wait for that. Thank you, ma'am. Michelle Gilang. Uh, good morning, Secretary Trixie. Uh, my question is about... Uh, English girl! Yes, How are you, English girl? Uh, paano po naging illegal yung importation kung dati naman po oh. siyang ginagawa at may order ang SRA, especially now po na manipis yung supply ng sugar at kaya po mahal yung presyo sa market. Also, if may kung illegal po yung SRO, paano po uh, i-hold accountable? yung mga nakapirma sa order, kagaya po ni uh, SRA Chief Serafica, 
at ni DA Undersecretary Sebastian. May sanction po ba yun? At... Oh na. Illegal talaga mag-import ng kahit ano ng walang authority. <laughs> sige, sige. Okay? Kahit na mag-import ka lang ng sapatos, oh. dai. English girl, illegal yan. Kung hindi mo yan, i-declare ng tama sa customs. Okay? Yan ay panahon pa ng merkantilismo, wala pang kapitalismo. Ganyan na po ang patakaran sa buong mundo mula nung panahon ni Sukristo. Okay? Trading is not allowed when it is not allowed by the government to be brought inside the country. Second, ah, uh, yung presyo ng asukal, dapat chinek niya. Kasi chinek ko na to at ayaw ko na ilabas. It has been steady for the whole year. Or kung may movement man napakaliit by the, by the sack. Mag-move ng limang piso, dalawang piso by a sack. Okay, so, sabi niya kasi rising daw yung presyo ng asukal. Wrong ka po dyan. Hindi po siya rising. Okay. Nagninipis yung supply, Yes. Pero may ta- tama na bagong supply. So, no supply and demand, simple economics will meet. Pero yung kanyang sinasabi about uh, the uh, illegality of the, ano, uh, tinatanong niya, hindi kaya dapat nag-aral ka lang ng kolehiyo muna, hindi balik. Tama, Kung di tama, pa tama, diba? At... Uh, ha? Parang ano eh, oh. parang, uh, parang, parang stock knowledge yun eh, na pagka sinabi mong illegal, eh may basis nga yan. At uh, yeah, siguro yeah, pagka pumunta ka school. without the boss's consent. Oh. Di ba? Kung walang, walang consent ng boss mo, o nang nag-authorize sa'yo, o wala yung, hindi yan kasama sa functions mo, eh illegal yan, natural. Yeah. In fact, in the, under the free trade uh, agreement, yun nga yung, di ba, kaya ka nga papasok sa GAT WTO, Kasi may mga produkto kayong pinag-uusapan. Huwag nyo na itong kahirapan yung pagpasok nito. O, oh, magpasok ka ng bakal, illegal. O, oh, magpasok ka ng ano, na walang... Di ba, smuggling ang tawag doon? Illegal talaga yun kapag wala kang authority mag-import ng kahit ano. Kahit na nga ballpen eh. Pero masila, parang we can say na bypass po ba ang presidente? Well, the entire... In order to issue a resolution, they should have met. The meeting was not authorized. Only the president, as the chairman, can call for such a meeting, number one. Number two, the resolution was issued in the president's name. It was signed for the president by Undersecretary Sebastian. Such signing was not authorized by the president. His assignment as the alternate of the president is merely to be present in those meetings where the president cannot attend. It is not a delegation of authority to call any meetings or to sign any resolutions in the absence of the President's awareness that such a resolution is to be issued. Thank you, Pop. You're welcome. May dadagdag lang ako dyan. May insider info lang ako dyan sa agriculture kasi na nadaanan ko lang din from a friend na who was very glad. Itong friend ko na to is a dilawan. Yeah. He was just uh, feeling like uh, napakaswerte naman itong mga kaibigan ko na nasa DA na hindi sila pinagtatatanggal ni PBM. Kasi, remember, we have MC1 and MC2, but almost all of the undersecretaries and USEX, USEX and ASEX of DA were retained. So, kumbaga, nirenew yung kanilang so, mga appointment. Masaya siya. Yeah, and this, uh, Sebastian, masaya, uh, masaya siya. siya. Because uh, expectation nila, tatanggali, the expectation ng mga dilawan na kaibigan, lahat ng mga kakilala nila sa gobyerno ay matatanggal. So parang surprise siya na, ha? Hindi tinanggal ni BBM yung mga tao dito sa DA? Yun. So I saw a post na, na nandunan siya sa DA na parang, uy, ang swerte, uh, parang ang galing naman nila na hindi sila, uh, na ni-renew sila. Hindi naman, hindi hindi sinabi na magaling si BBM or mabait si BBM na hindi sila tinanggal. Yung ano nilang mga ano doon, parang ang galing nila kasi kaya sila nirenew. And maybe this Sebastian is one ah, of them. Okay. Probably. Di ba dapat natanggal so, na nila? Itong sinasabi nitong kaibigan, di ba itong mm-hmm. sinasabi mong kaibigan mo, masaya siya pagka ang mga, mga masaya siya pagka ang gobyerno ay nag-i-employ ng 
mga ganyan, kagaya ni Sebastian. Ah, hindi naman natin masasabi. Nasasaya niya yung bagay na yan. Ah, hindi naman natin masasabi. masasabi. Hindi, hindi naman natin masasabi. Kasi yung mga yan, uh, most of them are um, mga seso yan mga yan eh. No? Some of them are seso. So hindi yan sila appointed. Uh, hindi natin sure kung ano yan si Sebastian. Kung appointed so, ba yan uh, siya or... So, this, uh, this, this, your, this friend of yours uh, is, uh, would rather... Uh, would rather believe in uh, swerte other than rather than uh, believe that this president sees uh, something that is that this people yeah. are capable of yeah yeah okay yeah, yeah. we can definitely say that yes because uh, um inahanap ko nga yung ano eh tingnan niyo na lang wala naman ako ibang post ng araw na to nandoon sa twitter sinabi ko si di ba si BBM kasi made a statement that is so presidential about the PNP's actions or yung sa war on drugs yung sinasabi nila dyan yung tinatanong kanina ano ba yung directive merong directive tingnan nyo dun sa twitter ko and sabi ko dun parang ang hirap paniwalaan nito ang hirap nito i ano ang hirap nito i present kasi di mo malaman kung mga away ka ba o ano yun obviously they do not hear when the president says the right things just look at it yes they only look hear because they they have a uh, prejudge him as a liar mm. and a thief. Mm. Yun. Masige, tapos na natin ito. Matap- malapit na ito matapos. I'm sorry, sundutin ko lang po yung sinahalin ninyo lang. Sundutin mo na. Um, on that particular thing mo, po, na, um, well, that alone, alam nilang illegal, hindi naman ito baguhan ng mga nasa SR, SRA. Uh, mm, ito, ang batikan. Okay. Uh, but even if, ma'am, siyempre may mga tao po sa paligid nila. So, that alone po ba, hindi siya makukonsider na talagang since alam natin na illegal yon, hindi ba yun magiging dahilan para you know, automatic na sa academic ang list ka dyan kasi naging irresponsible tayo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pero naniniwala din ang presidente sa due process. Ayun. Ano natin kung ano ang academic. dahilan kung bakit nila dali nila ito, mm. nag-convince sila na walang kaalam-alam ang presidente. And uh, bibigyan sila ng pagkakataon i-explain yung panig nila. Mm, yeah. Pagka hindi satisfactory yung kanilang mga explanations, then the appropriate penalties will be imposed. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, okay. Sige, one more. One more, Miss Tuesday New. Thank you. Oh, Tuesday New. Uh, GMA din daw. Hi, ma'am. Pahabol lang, ma'am. Uh, okay. Gusto lang naming malaman, ma'am, kung ano po ang status ngayon nitong si Yusek Leocadio Sebastian mm. at saka itong si SRA Administrator uh, knowing na nagkaroon nga ng ganitong parang glitches dito sa ginawa nilang resolution. And uh, kailan po kaya yung balak ni Presidente na kausapin sila o harapin sila? Uh, ang status nila, lahat po ng pumirma ay under investigation. Uh, iintayin po natin today if a determination can be made na ma-issuean sila ng preventive suspension order habang tumutuloy yung investigasyon. Pero kung mabilis lang yung investigasyon, makakita tayo ng mga replacements very soon. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Last, last, last. Uh, la- last question, <laughs> Michelle Gilang. Last. <laughs> Follow up lang po. Sige um, po. Mm. May photos po, ma'am, na na-upload sa Office of the President na social media page. Mm-hmm. Uh, tama po ba na ang kasama po ni President Marcos kagabi ay si Undersecretary Leo Cadio uh, Sebastian? Sebastian. Uh, photos. Too. Iniisip ko kung ano eh. Kung, <laughs> ka, Office of the President yes. na page. Yes, and in fact, there was an opportunity for him to answer, albeit informally. Uh-huh. So, with an investigation, he has to formally answer. So, there was a possibility po na natakal po yung order na, yung recent order? Yes, mm-hmm. but primarily it was with the executive secretary. So, like we said, the president was unaware of it. In fact, in upload ng wala tayong kaalam-alam. Do we have an info po sa naging discussion ni President Marcos at uh, Undersecretary Sebastian? Uh, none at the moment. Thank you po. Okay. Maraming, Maraming salamat, salamat, Secretary Tracy Cruz Aquiles and Malacanang Press Corps. Thank you, Agnes. All right, that's over. Uh, tingnan muna natin yung, uh, ano, yung uh, credits chat.
Okay. That's it. Ito ba? Itong mga pirma nila. Tingnan natin itong mga pirma. Alright. No, this is not this is not the four. This is the three. Okay. When uh, uh, Tony Trixie was saying that uh, the president is a member there, not as president, but as he is chairperson as the DA secretary. It comes with this position yes. as the DA secretary. Okay? Yes. Exactly. And uh, That is right. And, okay, okay. So, can the executive secretary... Pero itong secretary... permane, uh, itong permane itong uh, chairperson this dito. Is, this this is for the natin. number three, ha? Huh? Okay, Darian, William Darian. I know, I know. As the, uh, oh, does, does it uh, look like uh, yung kahapon? William? Dar, yung pirma na yan. <laughs> Mukhang it's a Cecil know. or something like that. <laughs> I do not know if it is uh, Dar's signature din. Huh? I do not know. Oh, oh. But anyway, uh, the, ano lang ha, haka-haka lang ha, haka-haka. Mm. Um, the executive secretary acts on behalf of the president when he is uh, in his capacity as the president. Oh. Chief Secretary siya ng Presidente. So, yes. Walter Pico yes. siya ng uh, ano, Presidente. So, is the Executive Secretary also authorized to uh, interfere with uh, uh, other... No, no, no. Other uh, ex-official positions of other secretaries in other attached agencies and authorities in departments. <clears throat> that is interesting. Uh, kung yep. kung uh, pwede ba siyang mangialam, ibig sabihin, pwede niya Kunwari, ba? hindi presidente, ha? Kunwari, hindi uh-huh. presidente ang nakaupo as secretary, but another secretary. Uh-huh. Like you, if you yes. are the secretary and you are ex-officio uh-huh. uh, ex chairman of the uh, the three that, uh, that, that the decision-making body that uh, will make that three fall or whatever, no? Mm. Can the executive secretary uh, interfere with your position there? By interfere, mean, uh, mean uh, review your... Uh, no, uh, your like order na? your order your office, the other office where you are the ex- ex-official chairman to do something as executive secretary. Right. Like, for example... Uh, uh, well, my uh, answer to that is definitely not. Okay. So when the secretary is the president, pwede? Hindi, Red. Uh, I think that uh, when the when the alala alala la, 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 secretary baka mag-inside the decision na tayo nito. <laughs> hindi, 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 hindi. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, we do not know. We do not know kung siya yung inassign. Uh, kausapin mo nga muna yung secretary ngayon. Eh that is a uh, different uh, delegation. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, that, okay. we uh, that we do not know. Ah, that we do not know. Yes. So kumbaga even the, maybe even the executive secretary has to uh, clear himself no why he was interfering in that office's uh, functions ordering him to make a plan an importation plan my understanding diba? is this my understanding of that is again this is context no hindi to kasama do sa sinabi ni attorney Trixie Cruz Angeles na they were in the same meeting they were in the same meeting the president and the executive secretary okay and the uh, Parang, sige, kausapin mo muna yung uh, grupo doon uh, kasi may, I am doing something else dito. I'm talking to another ganito, ganyan. So, pakitanong nga muna kung ano nang nangyayari dito. Bakit may order dyan sa media na, na ay, nagpa-import sila. So, inutusan siya na kausapin mo muna kasi nandito siya ngayon, yung USEC na yun. So, kausapin mo muna, tanongin mo doon at kung uh, ano, eh, mag-submit sila ng plan. Tapos sinabihan niya ata siya ng Executive Secretary, oh, Mr. President, meron na nga silang order, oh, nilik sa media. <laughs> so, uh, nagulat na President, oh, paano nangyari yan? Marang ganyan. Okay, so, there is a, there is a, many, a pieces of information. Nagahanap ng wig mo, pare. Yung wig mo daw. Wig? Wig. Uh, wig, uh, wig uh, uh, yung sa ano yun. Eh. Yung sa, uh, ito, ito, ito. Ah, ah, ah. Hindi, hindi. Okay. Oh, Alam mo, kasi yung wig okay. mo last time. Oh. Ah, totoo yun. Ganyan? Okay, ganito kasi yun. No? Uh, no, we are, we are, we are no. fair here. We are fair. We are fair. No? Uh, we will not, uh, hindi, kami, hindi kami magkakaroon ng uh, pagdadalawang isip kung kunwari may questionable din naman na ginagawa ang gobyerno or any officer for that matter. So, yun. Medyo 
ka do do that, no? And magandang opportunity, opportunity, tingnan mo, tingnan mo, no? Napakaganda nung handling na investigasyon mo na bago yung mga bago yung uh, akusasyon at saka yung pagtatanggal. Tama, di ba? Kasi Wag yung cancel kasi culture. Nga, tama, kasi nga yung uh, gagawin na yun na walang due process will uh, support uh, the allegation that uh, this president is the dictator that he will uh, be hmm. the judge, uh, jury and executor ng lahat ng tao dito sa Pilipinas yep. which is uh, clearly dispelled by what uh, is actually going on and what the uh, press secretary is saying. So yeah, it's so again, disappointing see, for them. Uh, so so you will see that this is a very disappointing thing for them because this is a counter instance to to their allegation that this uh, government and this president is yeah. a monster. Yeah, and then uh, that this there's a lot of disinformation going on, and there is no freedom of speech. Yes, isipin mo. Walang freedom of speech dito sa ating bansa pero ang basis ng mga tanong nila ay sabi-sabi. Mm. And they do not get any uh, sanction for it, no? Nothing. Yes. That's right. Yep. Okay. So mamayang gabi, so, anong topic natin? Gabi, yan yung topic natin mamayang gabi. <laughs> maganda, maganda. Oh. Oh, maganda, maganda. Mamayang gabi mag-shakes tayo. Ano Siguro mayroon lang ilaw mamaya dito, maliwanag, maliwanag na dahil napakadilim po dito sa aking kwarto ngayon. Para kang nasa ano, nasa cave, log cave. cabin, log cabin. Caveman ang that dating, is, no? That is correct. Uh, and that is the effect of uh, the removal of uh, sound uh, damp dampeners devices uh, mm-hmm. from the wall. Alright. Kasi dinikit yata ng rugby yan, tinanggal yun, eh, dinagkaganyan. Hmm. Kaya tayo ay pumunta na muna siya. How do you do that? Ha? Huh? How do you do that? Background. Background? Ah, okay. Oh, Sige, wala na rin. Bulok sa kapit. Ganun ba yan? Sige, sige. Hindi, hindi. So, okay, uh, everyone, uh, we hope uh, you know what's going to come out in the news tomorrow. And uh, you know the twist, how it will be twisted. So, expect What did Inquirer want to do with that question about the disinformation during the elections? And you can bet on it, mga 50 pesos, na hindi Inquirer ang maglalabas ng issue na yan. Nagpapalitan yan yes. sila. Yep. Magpa, uh, yung, yung nagtanong, hindi yun ang mag, mag, magpapap. Hindi siya. Hindi siya. Hindi siya. Uh. So they are... Uh, Mutual agents of each other. Yep. Like the English girl, he will not, she will not even be uh, publishing what she asked about. Uh, so, uh, this is good. Para pa lang ang nature nitong press briefing ay parang, uh, ano, parang executive session that they can be as stupid as they are or as stupid mm. as they can be or mm. they want to be. And mm. uh, some other person writes it uh, the following we'll write, day. Uh, para hindi naman siya mamumukanta nga doon sa kanya isusulat. Which is uh, now a clear indication that they would probably be very disappointed to see this uh, video stream. Or, or, uh, kung sino man yung mga nandito kagabi, there is an editorial conglomeration. Meeting at the tall tower in the suburbs. At the tall building in the suburbs. No! Yun yung mga nandito. Ay, tapadala ko mga lakay. Ikaw ba Pinay Paparazzi? Ba't hindi ka nagpadala sa akin ng address mo? Papadala kita ng ticket. So, bye-bye okay. sa inyo. Music. Alam, salamat po sa pakikinig. Music, 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 music. Music. Wait lang. Saan ba yun na attorney? Taas. Pag-porn niya tayo. Pag-porn niya.